by Olin, fed back by Downey. To the back, it comes Brewer, and shot went wide, rebound! Oh, and it wouldn't go! Thrown back in front again, and it's tipped by San Luis high off of Thomas. And here's that save. Look at how aggressive Tim Thomas is, and look at that, off the stick, off the post. Hello, Winterfest. This is Tim Thomas of the Boston Bruins. The discipline that it takes to make it to the NHL in hockey is actually very similar to the spiritual disciplines that it takes to make it to heaven. As a hockey player, you have to be disciplined enough to hold to a schedule, make sure that you do your workouts, do your physical work that you need to do. Um, in my mind, that would be the same thing that you should do with prayer, and make a schedule and, and try to keep to it. Uh, also, the discipline that is needed to sacrifice some of the things that you may want to do in order to make it to the next level. For example, you have to, you have to eat correctly um, as, as a hockey player. You have to um, make sure that you get your rest. It, it takes discipline every day to come in here and to practice. And uh, practice is what helps you to reach the goals that you want to reach. In hockey, you're not going to be perfect right away. You, you have to practice it. The same applies to spiritual disciplines. They say it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert in everything. And uh, I believe as a hockey player, I have over 10,000 hours of practice in it. And, uh, you know, I, I think the same thing would apply to spiritual disciplines. You know, practice makes perfect. You're not going to be uh, great at everything right away. You might be stronger in some areas than others, and you have to work on your weaknesses and, and also develop your strengths. You know, it, it took me a long time to reach the NHL. I didn't reach the NHL till I was over 30 years old to make it full time. Um, so there were a lot of time periods uh, before I made it to the NHL that it looked too hard and it, it looked like I was never going to be able to make it. And uh, when you're practicing your spiritual disciplines, you may feel the same way. Um, I know you guys are going to be practicing your spiritual disciplines for all of 2012, and I just want to want to let you know to never give up. Always believe in yourself that you can get there. Sometimes you got to take a step backwards to take two steps forward. Um, but just keep trying.